What's up, Bruce? Uh, today we are breaking this uh, hobby box of a 1920 OPG Platinum Hockey. As at least those of you who uh, know a little bit about uh, uh, the uh, hockey boxes uh, know uh, this is a pretty brutal uh, box to break. So uh, why do I uh, break this box? Well. Uh, it's just because of uh, the very sad state of uh, today's hobby. Uh, because uh, in good old days, uh, if you wanted to, a bunch of uh, shiny cards and uh, and out of a scrub, you just uh, could go and buy a, a blaster of uh, a prism or optic uh, basketball, say, or football. Uh, but uh, uh, right now, this... Uh, Blaster boxes are not 1999 anymore. They're more like 99.99. So, and even like some uh, completely uh, products we don't even know nothing about. Like uh, mosaic blasters are pre-selling at uh, 75 bucks. So, uh, given those crazy prices, I thought that's may maybe better to crack a hobby box because this hobby box is. Uh, I think uh, 77.50, so it's, it's the same price as a like blaster of mosaic. So uh, let's see who we will get. And uh, our uh, first card is uh, the first overall pick from uh, um, uh, 2018 NHL draft, uh, Rasmus Dalin of. Uh, Sweden, I think, Lynn Chopping, but uh, uh, might be not. So uh, the cards are very, very similar uh, to uh, to uh, Panini Prism or Topps Chrome. So uh, the photos are like more similar to Prism than to Chrome because uh, the photos are kind of uh, close up. And uh, our uh, second card, I wonder. Uh, if it's like a numbered card or anything, yeah, it's numbered to a uh, three ninety nine of uh, Trent Frederick of uh, of Bruins from uh, San Louis, Missouri. So, um, but as you can see, his stats are like uh, crazy good, like uh, uh, fifteen games. Uh, uh, la, la, last season, zero goals, zero assists, uh, minus four. Mm, I think I could. Uh, I, <laughs> I think like I could uh, like uh, post better stats, like uh, especially on a stack team like Bruins. So and yeah, yeah, it's not even defenseman like center. Why to include like uh, rooks like that in the in the set? Uh, <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, Ryan Sutter. So uh, there should be some uh, rainbow cards. I'm uh, just like, rotating it a little bit that uh, I don't I don't miss. I miss them, uh, and uh, that's uh, an uh, a retro parallel of Anza Kopitar. Like God, like Kings suck this season. Like uh, I couldn't imagine that NHL team could suck like as uh, Kings sucked uh, this season. So. So uh, uh, it's nice that they uh, got a Taylor Hall in t uh, in the Coyotes uniform because I actually thought that he's still gonna be in uh, Devils uniform. So that and uh, Ryan Pauling, I have heard something about him. Uh, uh, apparently, he's like a quite promising rook. So. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's what I call like stats for the rook. Uh, one game and uh, already a, a hat trick. So yeah, so unfortunately it's not a unnumbered card, but uh, and yeah, this is like a rainbow. Not sure uh, how like they are called in uh, how these are called uh, in um, in uh, OPG Platinum in Prism. They're called like Prism in Optic. They're called. Uh, hollows, but uh, Joe Pavelski is uh, a well-known uh, University of Michigan alum. Matt Murray and uh, Nikita Gusev uh, of uh, Devils. Uh, a really good player. I think he doesn't qualify for Calder because uh, 
uh, he's too old but even if he would uh, qualify then uh, then uh, I'd probably go to Cam Maker and uh, that's a really um, uh, a really cool card I think this I called Sunset Parallels of uh, Oliver Wallström uh, sounds like he's Swedish uh, with Islanders uh, uh, I never heard about him, although I went, uh, no, he's not Swedish, just uh, from New England. Um, never heard about him, although I went to, no, I didn't went to any Island, <laughs> Islanders game this season, so it, it's not surprising that uh, I didn't, I didn't hear about him, but, uh, and uh, Martin Fehervary, like, sounds like he's from Hungary, I wonder if. No Slovakia, yeah. that part of the world at least. But interesting that he played in Sweden uh, throughout most of his uh, career. And uh, this is a best of the world insert of uh, Leon Draisaitl. Yeah, pretty generic insert if you ask me. So uh, mm, you should get a one auto uh, in uh, this book, her sign it. Uh, but what uh, like uh, bothers me like is that, that there are no Gretzky, no Alimio, no Patrick Roy out of, although they are, or these guys are all upper deck uh, exclusives. So like, uh, what's the point of uh, you, you sign these guys and then uh, you don't include them into uh, the exclusives and you don't sign them to the products? Adam Fox, uh, pretty reliable defenseman. Have seen him uh, playing uh, multiple times. He's uh, uh, okay, but hopefully will develop into something, uh, something better. And uh, Jakub, uh, Jakub Voracek mm. of uh, Flyers, uh, this rainbow, a uh, rainbow parallel. Yeah, I think uh, the best uh, uh, card you could pull out of this uh, uh, product is... Uh, I wonder if they... No, they're not... A, yeah, the surface is okay. Uh, is a Kev Maker Auto or a low-numbered uh, parallel. Uh, Simon Verlamo has been a reliable... Uh, like, actually, in Islanders, it's not clear who is a starter. Uh, or on who is a backup because Grice and Verlamov are pretty much uh, splitting uh, splitting the games but uh, uh, I think it's used Verlamov well because he was playing a lot in uh, Colorado but like got uh, uh, got injured because with his athletic uh, goalie style he can't play that much and that's a rainbow um, a rainbow uh, card of uh, Alexis Sorella uh, three seasons in in the AHL and uh, actually pretty good stats in AHL although uh, Charlotte checkers play uh, pretty offensive uh, offensive uh, uh, offensive type of hockey so it's uh, quite easy to uh, score and uh, Ilya Mihave like uh, is uh, having a great a great season in Maple Leafs it uh, was a very good signing he uh, he's in a rocky getting rocky money and uh, he's playing like a very solid a uh, defenseman and uh, uh, Zach Sanchez retro Pff, never never heard about him Uh, Jack Eichel and uh, John Gibson uh, rainbow yes yeah, so unfortunately in uh, hockey these rainbows don't have a strong following as they have in uh, in uh, the basketball or football and uh, like this guy Villa Heinola I actually I don't understand like uh, why uh, Upper Deck includes him in this rock he says he played something like five games for Jets and then he went uh, back to SM Liga to uh, play for Rauman Lukko so uh, w w what the point like uh, this guy is not like uh, play played like 99% of the season in uh, Finland and uh, still included 
and uh, uh, Nikita Gusev, uh, retro. I actually was uh, at the Nikita Gusev's first NHL game. It was a uh, uh, devil season opener this season against the Jets and another I think those are number to 399. Yeah, like this. I don't know how is this called like purple what purple like disco. Yeah, I would call it in purple disco if you would. Uh, you would ask me mm -hmm. Ryan Johansson. Uh, yeah, and uh, Gusev scored uh, in uh, his uh, first NHL game against uh, the... Oh, wow! Uh, and uh, uh, the auto is actually not a bad auto. It's a rocky auto of uh, Ilya Samsonov. Uh, like, um, what the problem? The problem is... Uh, oh, wow, and number 250. <laughs> that, that's not a bad box to... A bad, like, box at all. So he is uh, taking uh, the starter job at uh, Washington uh, from uh, Holdby. So uh, that's pretty <laughs> wow. Uh, of course, like it's a little bit uh, disappointing that uh, it's like uh, the rocky card from the last season, but it's much better. Like uh, I was expecting some like 100% uh, scrub or so and uh, good and like. A future uh, NHL starter, if like not the current NHL starter. <laughs> wow, that's a cool, uh, pretty cool card. Uh, yeah, he his card uh, go for good money. Like uh, <laughs> this actually might pay for the, uh, probably won't pay for the box, but can be like something like fifty or sixty dollar, uh, dollar uh, dollar card. Wow, like it's. Uh, of course, that's not Kev Macker, but uh, <laughs> that, that's like top one. I wouldn't be surprised if like an auto like this, like Upper Deck would consider it like a case hit or something. Uh, Travis Konechny. Mm. And yeah, Braden Holdby, who I think... Uh, I think Upper Deck is not going to renew the contract with Holdby. You know, I will just go with... Uh, uh, with the pairing of uh, uh, Samsonov and uh, Copley as a backup, because Holdby is way too expensive, and uh, another, this is like another sunset parallel of uh, Victor Hedman. Uh, there should also be, I think, an unannounced point parallel, uh, which uh, looks pretty good uh, in uh, scans which I have seen uh, online, but uh, would be cool to get it uh, from the. Mm, from the box, so uh, thrilling finishes. Uh, another pretty, uh, pretty generic insert. Mm, Jonathan Taves, Elias Lindholm, and a purple Aroki of this Slovakian uh, superstar who played in Sweden. Uh, not numbered. Yeah, but getting a numbered out, uh, numbered hard out of. Uh, uh, of a starter goalie for a good club that's uh, of course like as uh, uh, being like uh, in New York I would uh, prefer like uh, Igor Shesturkin out but I don't think Igor Shesturkin in this pro is in this product at all so that's uh, uh, pretty uh pretty good uh card and uh yeah i'm letting a lot of getting a lot of this uh February uh card brandon sir uh jordan eberle yeah and uh overall of course uh i think that's a crazy good box with uh uh this uh ilya samson of uh, uh metalurk Ma uh, magnetogorsk uh, a superstar uh, hard out on number two. 50 of course like if you break these boxes you you can't expect anything like that but uh, this box was like I was expecting like a, a scrub and th this is like one of the best hockey cards I pulled like in uh, a very very long time 